Hello everyone, this is Yamin and welcome to WebTechnology. In this tutorial, we are going to talk about Laravel interview questions from beginner to advanced. So in this tutorial, we'll talk about around 20 plus Laravel interview questions and you can expect at least 4 to 5 questions will be asked on the interview from this tutorial. So I'll start from the beginner question and then at the later part of this video, I'll talk about the advanced question with the answers. So first of all, the normal question is what is Laravel? So Laravel is a free open source PHP web framework. Laravel follows the model view controller architecture pattern which is known as MVC. Now what are the benefits of Laravel over other PHP frameworks? The benefit can be Laravel has inbuilt authentication system. It also supports multiple file system as well. And the best thing about Laravel is that it gives us eloquent ORM. ORM means object relation mapping. And then uh, there is also some preloaded packages like Laravel Socialite, Laravel Cashier, Passport and Laravel Scout, which help us to make our org more easier in order to create a website. Laravel also give us a lot of command like artisan to create database and other structures. Now explain migrations in Laravel. Laravel migrations are like version control for the database, allowing a team to easily modify and share the application database schema. Now, how do you generate migration? In order to generate migration, you need to write this command, PHP addition, make migration, and then you need to mention your table name. Now, mention some of the official packages provided by Laravel. So some of the packages provided by Laravel are Cashier, Passport, Scout, and Socialite. So what is cashier? Laravel cashier is used for subscription based billing. Then why we use passport? We use passport for API authentication. Using passport, we can do API authentication really easily. And then let's talk about Scout. Scout help us to make full text search in Laravel. Now let's talk about Socialite. What does Socialite do? So Using Socialite, we can log in using Facebook, Twitter or using Google account. Now the another question can be how can we implement soft delete in Laravel? So first of all, what is soft delete? So, so soft delete means basically that we do not want to show a certain data to the website, but we'll still keep the data in the database table. So basically in order to implement soft delete, you just need to go to the certain table model and then in right use sub deletes in the table model and after that in the table migration you need to mention table sub delete over there so what it will do is that it will create a time or date column in the database table and then once you just delete data it will just update the table date column so after that what will happen is that it will only show the data uh, whose date is not updated in the web browser now for beginner in the interview, they can also ask a question that how you can request validation in Laravel. So in order to validate a request, all you need to do is that you need to say validated equal request validate. And then let's say you have a title, you can say require unique post and you can also define how many character the user can write. And in this validate function or method, you can write the condition for email and password and for other text field as well. Now, what is the purpose of the artisan command line tool for Laravel? Now, artisan command line tool can be used for making different kind of things like we can use PHP addition command to make controller. So in order to make controller, we need to say PHP addition make controller and then the controller name. Then the same way we can also create the model migration, cedar, factory policy and other command as well. Now, can we use Laravel for full stack development. So full stack development means front end and back end. So front end means what we see at the front of a website and back end means what is happening at the back end of our website. And we can use Laravel for creating both advanced scalable full stack web development. Now how would you best describe service providers in Laravel? So service providers give us effective tools for performing dependency injection and maintaining class dependencies. Additionally, service providers give Laravel instruction on how to bind different components to the Laravel service container. 
so here is the command for the service provider so in order to make a service provider you need to write this command please tradition make provider and you need to mention the service provider name now almost all the service provider extend this illuminate ser support service provider class and most service providers have those following feature in their file which is register function and the boot function now what do you understand by eloquent object relationship mapper so basically what do you understand by ORM so one of the key components of Laravel framework is the eloquent ORM it can be described as more sophisticated active record pattern implemented in PHP so eloquent ORM represent database table as classes with object instances bound to specific table rows. So now explain what is middleware in Laravel. So we use middleware in Laravel normally for verifying if the user is authenticated and if the user type is either admin or user. So if the user type is admin, then using middleware we can only let the admin have access to the admin page. But the user won't be able to have access to the admin page because we use middleware. Middleware can be used for different cases for like verifying or for like uh, checking the ages that if the age is uh, smaller than 18 then we will not the user have access to a certain page. So in order to make middleware we need to write this command php addition make middleware and then you need to write your middleware name. It can the name can be anything. And then in order to register the middleware, you need to write that middleware in the kernel.php. I hope I'm clear. Now explain what is the purpose of the code below. So here you can see class verify csrf token extend base verifier. And inside this, it is written protected except pass your URL here. So basically uh, here in the Laravel, we normally write csrf token for security reason. but here in this except if we just write a specific route then it will not check the csrf token for that specific route so we can find this in the app http middleware and in the middleware you will see verify csrf token dot php file over there and you can just choose a specific route that will not uh, check the csrf token okay so how do you understand by traits and how does traits do basically so here you can see a code snap over here trait shareable so using traits the developer basically freely repurpose set of method across numberious independent classes with verifying class hierarchies so once a trait defined such as the code you just saw it can be used by other classes such as like this the code you are seeing over here here you can see class post use shareable so basically we are calling that certain traits so we are basically using the same function again and again so it will like uh, decrease our code a lot so using an example explain what is throttling in laravel so here you can see a piece of code over here and here you can see a 60 comma on so basically we can like set a limit of request from a specific ip address using throttling so using this we can uh, stop the ddos attack now list some aggregates method provided by query builder in laravel so there is a lot of aggregate method in laravel that you can use like for example count max mean average and sum we can use count in laravel in order to count total number of data then we can use max to find the most highest number we can use mean to find the most minimum number then using avg we can find the average number and using sum we can find the total number of a certain products or certain orders so what is routing we use routing to process of accepting a request and sending it to the relevant function in the controller so basically from the view if someone wants to go to a certain view then our route will send the request to the controller and the controller will return us the view in laravel how can you declare a global variable so in order to declare global variable you need to either write that in the dot env file or in the config.php what is seeding in laravel so so seeding is a insertion of data to the database table in order to test our project so what are the database supported by the laravel framework so laravel support mysql postsql sql lite and sql server 
so here you can see a piece of code over here so how do you understand by this code here you can see the file is required it means the user must give the file and the file type can be only doc or pdf and the max size can be 2048 byte so what is the purpose of session in laravel so session is used to store data and keep track of users so what is csrf token csrf means cross site request forgery a csrf token is a unique value that is generated by the server side of the application and send it to the client so csrf token helps to protect web application from attacks which force a user to perform an unwanted action commonly known as csrf attack so that's why in the form in order to protect our website in the form we use at the top csrf token so what is the difference between get and post method so get method is used to get the data from the database table and post method is used in order to upload some data to the database table now name some of the http response status codes so here you can see some status code that 401 402 403 404 so 401 means unauthorized, 402 means payment required, 403 means forbidden and 404 means not found. And 500 means internal service error, 500 on means not implemented and 503 means service unavailable. So those are the error messages that we just commonly see in the Laravel project. So what are the common tools we use to send emails in Laravel? So in order to send email in Laravel, we can normally use MailGrab, MailGun, Postmark or Swift Mailer. Those are the most common things that we normally use to send mails in Laravel. So how do you clear cache in Laravel? So in order to clear cache in Laravel, we need to write some commands that you are seeing over here, which is PSP addition config clear, PSP addition cache clear. And there is also a command called composer dump autoload then here you can see PSP addition view clear and PSP addition route clear. So where do we mention the database name in Laravel project? So we mention the database name in the .env file. How do you generate the application key in Laravel? So in order to generate the application key, you need to write this in the command, which is PSP addition key clone generate. So it will create a application key in your project. So how can we extend the login expiration time in auth? So if you want to extend the login expiration time, then you need to go to config slash session.pc file. Then you need to update the value of the variable lifeline over there. So how do you roll back to the last migration in Laravel? So in order to roll back, you need to write this command PSP addition mycat rollback minus minus step equal to on. So it will send you back to the last migration in Laravel. So how do you check the current route name? So in order to check the current route name, all you have to do is that you need to write request route get name. So those are the Laravel questions that are commonly asked in the interview. I hope you learn something new and I also hope this tutorial will help you with your Laravel interview. So I would like to wish you good luck and make sure to subscribe to this channel. I hope to see you in the future tutorials.